Ever wish your Power Apps looked better, but didn't want to spend the time to make it happen? We've developed a customized theme template that will take very little time to get set up and will make all of your apps afterwards look great and consistent with your brand. Hi guys, my name is Michael, and this past spring, I attended the Power Platform Conference online and was very intrigued by one of the sessions by I am Mancat about a theme template he developed for Power Apps. So I took some time to download his file and kind of mess with it and add some global variables and other things to make it useful for our company. And I'm really excited to share uh, the realization of that with you today. Before we start with the solution though, I thought it would be helpful to start with the problem and see what it's like to start with a brand new Power App. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with a new Power App to see what features we get out of the box when it comes to our own brand. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click a uh, new Canvas app. We'll call it App Demo. Let that get loaded. For the sake of simplicity, let's go ahead and add a couple buttons. Those are pretty common controls, uh, so we'll use those for our demonstration. So let's say on this page we need uh, three buttons. Just kind of line them up like this. And then let's say that we then want to go and change the color of these buttons to be the exact color of our brand. So uh, the worst way to do this or the most difficult way to do this is to go into each individual button, click on its fill and update it. So let's just say I add a one in front of this to make it purple. So you can imagine if you've got hundreds of these throughout your app, you need to click on each one and do the same thing. And oh my gosh, that is tedious. No good. So you might say, okay, the next best solution is let's just have a page where we have uh, one of each control and we'll just copy and paste it, right? Easy enough. So I could just take this button, copy it. We'll delete this guy. Paste it right down there, voila. That's okay, still takes a lot of time. It's not really the functionality that we want. Also the problem with this is, what if at some point down the future we decide, you know, we really don't want our buttons to be this color, we'd rather change it to this other company color. There's no easy way to go in and change all of them at once. You'd have to go into each button and change that setting again. So that's no good. So the next kind of step working towards this solution is you could say, well, let's go ahead and create a global variable. And so I'm just gonna copy this setting here and we will store this global variable in the apps on start. Uh, so clicking on the app and then we have the on start, open this up. We'll set a global variable. Uh, we'll call it var button color and we will set it to that value and we are in business there. I'll go ahead and run the on start so that takes effect. And then instead of having the button set to this color, we would set it to the variable, var button color, like that. So then if we started our app with global variables in mind and then used the copy and paste method, so I'll go ahead and get rid of these. And then let's say I built every single button by copying and pasting. With the default Power Apps, this is really as good as you can get. So it gives you the color that you want right now, and then in the future, if you needed the ability to quickly change the color, so let's say we take that one off there, and let's add the one here, and we will run the on start, and you'll see that all buttons will change simultaneously. Pretty cool. But again, the problem is, if you go to add a new button, it's not the right color. Right? We still have to copy and paste everything. And this is just more of a pain than we really want to settle for. So we've actually come up with a solution by modifying the Power Apps file itself to set global variables to brand new controls. So let me go ahead and show that to you. So this is the app that we have tweaked a little bit. And so now I'll go ahead and add a button to this page and you'll notice it looks very similar. 
But if you were to go and look at its fill property, instead of an RGBA setting, it's set to a variable called button.fill as a brand new control. And so now if you go into the app settings and you're gonna see a lot more settings. Um, so this was basically our attempt to identify everything that is valuable, was valuable to us for our brand uh, that are things that we can change. So you're gonna see a lot of things, but if we scroll down here to button and fill, and we wanna change that. So we'll go ahead and change it to another setting that I have above, which is oops, colors dot primary one. And then we will run the app on start. So now we have a yellow button, which is our company's primary color. So the really cool thing now is if I add a new button, boom, it's also yellow. That's because the button itself points to that global variable, which is set. And so now we do not need to worry about copying and pasting anymore. Super exciting. So we have gone ahead and done this with every control. So if we were to add some combo boxes in a default app, this color would be the Power Apps Blue. It's our company yellow. If we were to add a date picker, Again, we've got the nice yellow, open it up, yellow, yellow, yellow. So, boom, awesome solution. Let me now go ahead and show you a series of screens that we have built so that it's easy for us to see what our branding options look like across all of the uh, Power Apps controls. So in this screen, uh, this is just a bunch of the different controls so that at a quick glance, we can see what we like, if there's anything in particular we wanted to change, like let's say for our, for whatever reason, our primary company color changes to 08 or eight. Go ahead and run that. There we go. And now our company color is red, just as a very easy example. Um, it would instantly change that. We could see how it looks. So the first several pages here are just generic Power Apps controls, just so we can see how things look. Uh, here's a default button, some icon colors, a sample gallery, a table, a chart. Um, so those pages are all just designed so you can see what it looks like. Now there are still going to be some controls that you want to copy and paste. And the only reason for this is because they're not default Power Apps controls. For us, for example, we really like to have the ability to have headings of different sizes, but that are consistent. And we also like to have different kinds of buttons that we might copy and paste. Power Apps gives you one button, but we like to have several. So we'll go ahead and change that back to our company yellow for the rest of the demo. There we go. All right, so yes, back to this page. So. Like I said, we like to have different sizes of headings, different types of buttons. We also enjoy sometimes using next and back buttons and having them always appear in the same spot on the page. These are just some examples of things that Power Apps, they're not default controls, they're just control, they're kind of variations of controls that we like to use. So you are gonna have some that you copy and paste, but I mean, it's maybe 5% of what you use, so much better. Um, and then we also added a custom header and a custom footer and a custom hamburger menu. So let me go ahead and show you each of those. Uh, so if you come over into components, you'll see our header. It's got the company logo, uh, the name of the application, and then our company name. This is just so that all of our apps have a consistent look and feel to the header and then footer as well. Um, footer is going to vary depending on your app, but just kind of as placeholders, we have our company name and the year. And then this is actually the newest thing we implemented, a little hamburger style menu that, actually let me show it to you in the app itself, um, will take you between the pages. So when you click on it, opens up a navigation of the various pages of your app and allows you to quickly go there. So. Having this as part of our theme template means that we have access to this component in all the apps that we build. So that's pretty cool. And then the final thing that we've built into this is a page for debugging, which is really nice for development mode. 
And there's not really a lot on here right now, but depending on the app, you know, obviously you're going to add a lot of stuff. And but we do have a kind of general is debug mode uh, variable that you can turn on. And then one of the useful things we use a lot of is who the current user is in the app. So that shows us this info right up here in the header. So hopefully you can see that this kind of tool will really save you a lot of time. If you use this as a starting point for all future power apps, all of your apps are going to have a really nice, clean, consistent look that is true to your company's brand. Uh, we are going to go ahead and make this tool available to you. Uh, so check that out in the description below. And also, if you have any questions or comments regarding this video, we'd love to hear from you. So please leave those below as well. And we are working on creating a lot of new content around Power Apps and SharePoint and Power Automate. So please subscribe if that's the sort of thing you're interested in and click the bell for notifications as well. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time.